It is a popular parade and it is taking place tonight on College Avenue. Emily Deem is live in downtown Appleton with more. Hi, Em. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. Check it out. We got the power tools going this morning. They are putting the finishing touches on some of the floats that are going to be out for the downtown Appleton Christmas Parade. They put a lot of hours in out here to make these babies look beautiful out on College Ave. Don Burrich is here with me this morning, parade committee member. Don, all of these floats that we're seeing in here, um, they have created. Tell me about who you bring in to make this all possible. Yes, in this garage we have seven really nice looking floats thanks to Mark Clemmy, Clemmy floats of the Milwaukee area. We've been working with Mark for nearly 30 years and he comes in every year and puts all of these together and as you see they look just spectacular. So Mark and his crew are putting on the finishing touches so that we're good to go down College Avenue tonight. A lot of uh, things going to be happening on College Avenue besides the parade. Tell me about that. Yes, we start at about 6.02 tonight with the Wells Fargo Bank Santa Scamper. About 2,000 runners are going to run down College Avenue. Then we have the Thrivent uh, uh, Cans Hunger Food Drive, which is going to happen about 6.15. We do the parade from about 6.30 to 7.30. After the parade, we have the annual City of Appleton tree lighting ceremony over at uh, City Park, which is in the neighborhood of uh, Lawrence University. Um, you were telling me something pretty special about the Grand Marshal this year. Uh, what's different about this year from years past? Each year we typically honor someone or a couple of people who have been really instrumental in making downtown Appleton a better place. This year it's unique because it's the 10th anniversary of the uh, Fox City's PEAC and we're going to honor the founding board of directors that helped get the PEAC up off the ground and make it the jewel and success of downtown Appleton. So we're going to honor about 10 of those original founding board members. And those names are on our website because we posted a link that you can check it out if you want to see. Anthony, you are looking fabulous you in like that this? Campbell's soup outfit. What do you think? I think it's great. Thank you. You got to tell us about this food drive that's going on right before absolutely, the parade. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Thrivent has the mission to make its members wiser with money and inspiring generosity. But tonight it's all about the generosity. So if you're coming to the parade tonight, we want you to bring a canned good. Bring them down to College Avenue. And right after the Santa scamper, we're going to have volunteers running down College Avenue grabbing these cans, soup, beans, whatever you have. It. Make sure it's a canned good. We'll toss them in a pickup truck. We'll get them to St. Joseph's Food Pantry, hoping to get eight to 10,000 cans tonight. Wow, and it's the first time they're doing it. The 42nd annual Downtown Appleton Christmas Parade. Uh, I think it's going to be a good night. The weather is nice for you, so hopefully they'll have a fun time. Rachel, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Sam.